Good morning and welcome to Fallon Ed's Adventures. Where are we at today, babe? We are in Dayton, Ohio at the Carillon Historical Park to see the Wright Brothers National Museum. All right, well, let's go. in the welcome building right now. Still in the welcome center here, so we'll just take a look around. Looks like an old uh, cash register machine. Compass. Looks like made in 1840. This is a 1946 Ladies Huffy bike made here in Dayton. There's a little side building in the welcome center of old cash registers. I don't recall ever seeing any of these in my earlier younger days, but I'm sure some of you who watch the videos will recall seeing some of these cash registers, what, back in the 40s, 20s, 30s? I think the guy in the Museum Welcome Center was telling us there's 30 different buildings out here to look at. So uh, we're going to take a look at some of them. This is the oldest standing building in Dayton. The right side was the family's home, the left side was the tavern. Show you an old rifle. Some of you may know what kind of rifle it is. I do not. Some of the original keys to the tavern. Why'd you have to get out, babe? There was a wasp. Get are, out. Are you scared of wasp? Scared of every bug. <laughs> this is the William Morris house. It was built around 1815. Wow, the couple had a son in 1835 when Morris was 74 years old. Ew. Are you serious? Wow. And 
and it actually smells like they have burned wood in here recently using the fireplace what's this building babe it's the Corliss engine building of course built in 1902 for NCR. Alright, well let's go in and check it out. Wow. I don't know exactly what it did, but it's big. Some kind of big engine of some sort. We're very informative. <laughs> Evidently, it's some kind of steam engine. It generated electric power for the National Cash Register Company. There we go. Welcome to the print shop. Hello. You got your time machine, you went back to the 1930s and went to a printer, and this is what you would find. And believe it or not, uh, everything's kind of quiet in here today, but every machine in here still works. Oh. Kind of smells like you was running something earlier, maybe? We were, uh, uh, we probably printed the last time this week on Thursday. So every machine in here works, right? Yeah. And on Tuesdays, Tuesday mornings, you can come in and see every machine working. Okay, so they had print machines in there as old as in the 1800s. I didn't get the, the year, but he said uh, late 1800s, I believe. And every Tuesday, uh, all the machines in there are operating. Pretty cool. Gordy Roos, a friend of the Wright brothers, built Dayton's first automobile in 1896. The 1908 Stoddard. Valerie is very, Valerie is very familiar with that vehicle. Mm-hmm. I am an antique car buff. Then we have the 1910 Courier. How would you like to deliver in that thing? So we got cars anywhere from the 1914 to the 1923 era. These are way fancier than my golf cart. I think Val would rather have one of these than the car that she has now. 100%. The 1910 Speedwell. Mm, this one's not as cute. But you can have passengers in the back. <laughs> Four seater. And then we have the 1908 Hatfield. Babe, shall we go in this uh, building to see some bicycles? Sure. Looks like they started out as sewing machine manufacturers. Goodness, how are you supposed to climb up on those bicycles? Pretty neat though, pretty neat.
All right, let's go in the Family Transportation Center. An old bus. City transit lines. I don't know if we have any info how old it is, but it's an older one. This city transit bus was built in 1949. Now we're going to go into the Detroit and Mackinac passenger car. The tour guide said that the company that built this train car was the biggest company in Dayton back in the 1800s until NCR took over. Let's go in the B&O Railroad Caboose. <laughs> choo choo! Put that mask on. There's nobody around and it's hot. You rebel. <laughs> so this is what we really came for. The Wrights Brothers National Museum. Inside, they have the original 1905 Wright Flyer 3, the first real airplane. All right, let's go. Good morning, how are you? Good, welcome. Thank you. The old inner tubes. Tires. Those are tires instead yeah, of inner tubes? Pick, pick one up right there. They're a combination. Oh, that's hard. Oh, how about that? That is their, that is their original bicycle. the original bicycle built by the Wright Cycle Company back in 1901. I'm making the propeller. 
go. I'm making the propeller go. You go, babe. for a series of demonstration flights. While Wilbur was flying in Europe, Orville made test flights at Fort Myer, Virginia to meet requirements of the U.S. government. So it took a few years to make people actually believe this would work. But then after many test flights in the US and Europe, they came home as heroes. This is Wilbur Wright flying past the Statue of Liberty in 1909. How cool is that? They were even making float planes in 1909 with a canoe on the bottom of the airplane. I can't convince my husband to get on a float plane in Alaska in 2021. Clearly they're perfectly safe. I don't like water. So they transformed their bicycle manufacturing company that we saw earlier into an airplane manufacturing company, but not for very long. Wilbur died in 1912. So just three years after he was flying past the Statue of Liberty. And then Orville sold the company in 1915. I didn't realize they weren't involved for very long. Wilbur died of typhoid fever. And then Orville, their youngest, younger sister, Catherine, and their dad moved into this big house they called Hawthorne Hill. This is a toy that Orville designed. It had the patent on called Flips and Flops. Somehow the clown would like do flips. the last time you've seen one of these. Here is the Carillon the bell tower that's in the center of the Carillon Historical Park. Edith Deeds, way back when, decided that Dayton needed a Carillon.
Okay, so we just got back from the Coralon Historical Park. What'd you think, babe? It was really cool. Um, I thought it was just gonna be the Wright Brothers Museum. That's why we were going to see the cool plane, but it was a ton of stuff about the history of Dayton and industries and the different companies that kind of built the city up. It was, it was really neat. We probably showed not even half right. of the buildings that were there. It was pretty cool. All right, before that does it for today, please subscribe, like, comment, and share, and we'll see you on the next adventure.